Welcome in, beautiful travelers. I'm Marie at Indigo Earth. I'm here to do a reading for our fire signs, Leos. Welcome in, Leo. Glad to have you here. Leo, you are the performer. You are the performer. You are the most vital of all the zodiac signs. You are full of will and radiance, self-determination. You are ruled by the light, the sun, vital energy. Your dual nature is for expression. You like to command attention, yet you can be egoic and somewhat immature. Your drive is to impress. Your aspect is to lead with courage, and your mantra is I will. Welcome in Cross Watchers. You may be energetically connected to or in a relationship physically with a Leo. You are here to see what's going on with your person. Therefore, feel free to swap around the characters throughout the reading as need be. Trust yourself that you know your situation better than anybody else. And time is fluid. So when you come across this message, a day, a week, a month, a year, and you're drawn into it, that was a time that you were meant to hear it. And our energies are working together, you and I, at a quantum level. We're all learning here, right? We're learning, it's working together at a quantum level to bring a message to you for the highest octave, the highest atonement of your soul growth and soul evolution. So try to stay open to the message. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. You might be more in touch with your lunar sign this month. You might want to check out your moon sign as well. So use your discernment, use your inner knowing, start exercising your intuition, look for those intuitive hits. That's how you process the information being presented to you. As the micro goes, so the macro goes. So we got a theme going for you here. We have the Nine of Swords and we have the Eight of Wands. There is some sort of communication coming in that might bring some apprehension, some anxiety, might get the monkey mind going. Um... Fast moving energy, some sort of delay is over with. Whatever that is. Might be moving fast, might be kind of throwing you off balance. Might be a little bit scared. Have some fears surrounding it. So we'll see where we go here with you today, Leo. Thank you for all the comments and the feedback that you're sharing with me. I believe that I have resolved the sound issue. So you should be able to hear me much clearer now. And I've had a couple comments that says, I shuffle too much. And you are right. I do. I admit it. I accept that one. Um, I just want a reading that's organic and natural. I like for the cards to pop out because I feel like those are the, that's the energy speaking to you rather than having to force the cards out myself. So I will try to streamline that a little bit better um, and be, be conscious of that throughout the reading because I know it, it can get irritating. So thank you for being patient. And if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe, help the channel grow. Your support is honored and your support is appreciated. Other Leos will be able to get the messages that might be needed for them as well. So let's see where we go with you today, Leo. This is for Leo. Remember, your sun sign is just a small aspect of who you are. It's your characteristics. It's how you present yourself to the world. It is a very small aspect of who you are. So let's see where we go today for you today, Leo. Today, today, today. This is for Leo, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is messages for Leo, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Messages for those watching, please. Message for Leo. Some of you surprising. Messages for those watching, please. One more time through. Messages for Leo. Some of you surprising. Messages for those watching, please. Ready? All right, here we go. Your overall energy right now. Seven of Swords. Could be sneaking away from something, turning your back on something. 
feeling like maybe you've been a, jilted, kind of hiding away, hiding from something. Your situation is the Knight of Swords. Okay, there's more message coming in. Some sort of communication could have be very fast and swift, could have to do with some anger. Your opportunity is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Things are going in a different direction. What the universe is co-creating with you, Five of Pentacles. Could be some sort of loss, some sort of reduction. Something got taken away. Cutting your losses. Cutting your losses. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. <clears throat> the Page of Wands. Could have been something triggered you. Something's, something's coming through that's rather triggering. But this could also be about, you know, creative exploration. Journey. New adventures. Um, energies that are coming in. The High Priestess. Starting to follow your intuitive hits, your intuitive process, your inner knowing. Energies that are fading away. The Six of Cups. This could be um, somebody from your past that came back. This could have something to do from lessons from childhood. This could have something to do with um, maturity. How you're showing up in this situation. The Knight of Pentacles. Being here now. Steady, slow, sturdy, non-reactive. Moving forward at your own pace, at your own time. Processing. Being diligent. Being mindful. What's um, right in front of you that you need to contend with is the Ace of Swords. Some sort of real, raw, organic, down-to-the-core truth. The authenticity of it all. <clears throat> your hopes and fears, the Two of Swords. Closing yourself off. Not listening to reason, not wanting to hear counsel, staying within your own counsel, guarded, and your outcome, the emperor, showing up in your reading. That is taking bold action, finding the courage and the strength. That is rising up into your authentic self. That is taking charge of, of your own life. What else is with there? With the Queen of Swords, because you're dealing with your experiences and your truth. Your experience, your experiential knowledge. Right? Experiential knowledge. That's how you've gotten to this place, is your experiences. This is your own path. So there's some kind of communication coming in here. That's going to trigger you. It's going to trigger you. Might have something to do with something you learned in childhood that you've carried through with you to this what to the you know to this day. Um, but it looks like you're going to start listening to your intuitive nature. You might really just be cutting some things loose here, letting some things go. Moving forward at your own pace, learning at your own pace, standing in your own authentic truth. Because Queen of Swords, you know what you know what you know is what you know. So let's see where we go here for you today, Leo. Let's find out what this Knight of Swords is. There might have been something that was hidden from you, too, that you, you may have found out about. Because the Seven of Swords, sometimes it's about deception, some kind of unauthenticity, something's not being real, something that is as it seems. Somebody could be taking something from you. 
time, energy, money, materialism. One more time, clear, please, for Leo. Temperance, balance. Seven of Wands, Patience, and the Devil. Something might have been taken from you that caused some anger. Caused some anger. You're trying to be patient. Um, I think you're trying to balance some energies here, but you, it's just... You know, you got the devil here. There's some sort of, like, fear, antagonist. Like, you're just being antagonized, antagonized, antagonized. And whenever the devil shows up, you're always asking yourself the question, what in my life is blocking me from getting to where I want to go? Or who in my life is holding me back? What is holding me back? Could be anger, could be needing to learn more patience, could be needing to learn more um, how to balance your inner world with your outer world. So let's see what that's all about because we got the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. So things are changing. Could be about cycles and patterns as well. Clarify what the Wheel of Fortune is for Leo, please. Cycles and patterns, because we got the hanged man. Stuck. Feeling unable to move. Seven of Cups. Confused, not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do. It's like you're in a tornado. Things are just... Whoosh, Whirling around and around and around and around. Wanting more options. Wanting to see things differently. Could be wanting to escape. Wanting freedom, choices. King of Pentacles could have something to do with materialism, could have something to do with money, could have something to do with um, things you've accumulated. So let's see what the Five of Pentacles is, because this is about a reduction in something. Something's being left behind. So clarify what the Five of Pentacles is for Leo, please. This is what the universe is trying to help you with, trying to get you to see. Whoops, sorry, sorry. We got the Ace of Pentacles, start over. New beginning. Cut your losses. One more time through, please. With the Knight of Cups and the Fool. Well, the Fool is starting a new journey with no baggage. Right? The, the, the fool is someone who's starting off again, has, has a small knapsack, is just ready to set out on a new, new adventure. And the Knight of Cups could be about dreaming. It could be about um, imagination. It could be about um, setting out on some sort of um, magical, mystical adventure with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is all about like starting over 
starting over from from zero point cutting your losses because your outcome is the emperor so maybe this needs to be let go of maybe whatever this is has severe de the devil severe attachments to it this is your situation there could be attachments to stuff too much attachments to stuff that it that causes you to be somewhat off balance cuz something triggered you something in here triggered triggered you but you are pulling on you got the high priestess here so let's clarify what that is. This is energies that are coming in. That is really following your gut. Yeah, setting out on something else. Wanting something else. Queen of Wands, being inspired. Maybe heading towards another fire sign. Who else do we have here? We have Capricorn coming in. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Capricorn energy. We got temperance. That's Sag. You could be heading towards another fire sign or turning your back on a fire sign too. But the Queen of Wands is all about um, ingenuity, originality. Tower, this is going to be a sudden change. Ace of Cups. You may be turning your back on a fire sign. There's going to be a sudden change here. I think you might be maybe listening to your gut. You want a, a new beginning in love. You want a new beginning with something that's more fulfilling for your heart, whether that's a person or it's just you personally. Could be heading towards a Capricorn, an earth sign. Or someone with a lot of earth energy in their chart because the six of cups is fading away so this could be somebody that you'd been with for a really long time maybe somebody from your you know teenage years or college years I think this is going to be an abrupt An abrupt happening things are changing wheel of fortune things are changing I think you feel stuck I think you feel stuck and I, I think you want want more freedom more um, ingenuity more originality more choices more things to explore more things to experience So let's see what the Knight of Pentacles is. This is how you're showing up in the situation. Looks like you're going to take control of this somehow. One more time through, please. We got the Nine of Wands. It's been a long journey. You've really had to push through and persevere. It, it's just, it's, it's getting, um, just feels heavy weighted, bothersome. We got the Six of Wands. You want something better. And we have the Three of Swords. You're just tired of the heartbreak. Feeling, you just, it just feels like pain. <laughs> it feels like pain just heavy you're taking things slow I, I i think you're starting to really look at the situation you got the high priestess here i think you're starting to look at the situation you're starting to go with what you feel inside you want something that's more authentic maybe something that's more in alignment with you 
I think you might be looking at this kind of mm, from a higher knowing or a higher perspective. Let's clarify what the Ace of Swords is for you. This is what you have to contend with, what's right in front of you. This is the raw truth of something. Ace of Pentacles again. Wanting something new, new beginning. Wheel of Fortune, this is on your path. This is a change. And you got the Queen of Swords. Well, the Queen of Swords is all about, like, cutting to the, I mean, just the Queen of Swords takes no bullshit. No bullshit. Like, doesn't want to hear all the details and the excuses and the rantings and the ravings. She just cuts straight through, gets the facts, cuts straight to the truth, right? And she uses all her experiences and her wisdom and her knowledge over the course of her life to kind of like, and you got the Queen of Swords twice here, in your outcome and in what's right in front of you that you need to contend with. And she just goes with what she knows is best for her. Maybe it's not best for everybody else, but from her past experiences and her life, this is her truth. This is the truth for her. And that's not gender specific. I think you're going to do this anyways, even though you have some fear. I, I think you're gonna face that fear because you're you're really starting to just listen to your own your own knowledge and your own wisdom there's gonna have to be you know cutting your losses and letting some things go that maybe you don't want to let go this is about maturity for you maturing the devil letting go of some things letting go of the attachments of things because some information, Eight of Wands and Knight of Swords is coming through. And it's really requiring you to have to be balanced. So let's see what we got here for you. We've got Earth Energy coming in, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. we got a Fire Energy coming in, Aries Leo Sag. the tower we got Scorpio coming in we got the Wheel of Fortune that's Sagis so I'm going to look at um, Earth signs well, we got the Queen of Swords twice I'm going to look at Earth signs Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo And I'm going to look at fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. See what the intentions of those, those um, signs are in your life. And then we will get actions and advice for you as well. And I'm going to jump deeper into this outcome for you. For those of you not going on, let's get a message to you. From the universe this is using the crystal wisdom oracle deck by judy hall so let's find a crystal you can marinate on to go through this change rhodosite that looks like grounding It's a multi-dimensional interactive stone. It's mighty and power, which is what's in your outcome, the emperor. Mighty and power. Zingy rhodazite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. So there's removing these blockages 
right? The 12, the hanged man, feeling stuck, feeling confused. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces in between. This is your self-understanding. Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic dis-ease. So here's your six of wands right here, or your six of cups. From an earlier, wounds from earlier in your present life. That would be childhood stuff. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people directed towards you. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Your healing insight, living in a healthy, stable environment, creates a stable physical body. The frequency is earthy and it's high. So this Nine of Swords could also be the stories that you're telling yourself. Eight of Wands, the communication that you're telling yourself as well. Um, the monkey mind, your theme, the monkey mind, going over and over and over and over again, creating, stirring more fear, more anxiety, more apprehension. It might be, you know, your own communication with yourself as well. So this is about temperance. This is about slowing down. This is about following your own path. This is about finding your innate blueprint. This is about listening to your soul. This is about cutting your losses and starting again from zero point. Because the devil's all about fear, the antagonist. All about fear. Wants to take away that patience, wants to take away temperance. So however this resonates with you, I hope this helped for you, Leo. <clears throat> And until next time, I hope for you peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below, and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.